how to quickly recolor your vector repeat pattern artwork or any kind of vector artwork in Adobe Illustrator using the built-in tool. Uh, let me show you right in this tutorial. My name is Oksantia. I have been a textile designer in uh, working in Adobe Illustrator for over 15 years now as well as illustrating children's books in Adobe Illustrator and I want to show you a super super handy tip right now so let's jump right into it. If you get to the end of this video though I will give you a present so stay tuned. Right here we have a vector repeat pattern that I created in Adobe Illustrator a while ago and I decided to make it a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more contrasting. So instead of going in and changing every single color in this uh, design, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it a little bit to the right so we can see better. And uh, to do that, I actually press uh, on the space key, space bar key on my um, keyboard and it changes to a little hand. And then when I let go, it goes back to the uh, selection tool uh, like, like so. Okay, so to change all the colors at the same time using uh, the Adobe Illustrator built-in tool Recolor Artwork, here is how we do it. So we can select this whole pattern if it's grouped, or you can press on Command A to select everything that you have on your um, file and that's unlocked. And then we'll go to Edit on top of the Illustrator menu here, and then we will go to Edit Colors, and then we'll go to Recolor Artwork, like so. This menu pops up, I'll move it to the left, and on the very bottom of this menu, you will see a button that says Advanced Options. We click on that, and on this new menu that pops up, you need to find this little uh, three stripes button, uh, right in, kind of in the center of the screen, a little bit to the bottom, which says specifies the modes of, mode of the color adjustment sliders. We click on that, and then we go to Global Adjust. From here, it's very easy. You just uh, drag to the right or to the left, the levels of saturation, brightness, temperature, or luminosity, and then you can edit single colors as well if you want to from here. So I'm going to just drag saturation a little bit to the right to make this artwork more saturated. And if I wanted to uh, make it very light, I would, for example, drag luminosity. You can see that it becomes very, very light. So let's move this one back. Let's input zero here and press on enter or click OK. And we have our pattern that changed and the, all the colors are more saturated now in this design. So did you find this tip helpful? Please hit that like button for me so that I know to create more videos just like this one. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon to get notifications when I post new videos just like this one. And I really would like for you to share this video with somebody who might need to know this little trick as well. And how about that gift that I promised you in the beginning of this video? Well, if you want to know ins and outs of vector repeat pattern design colors specifically for uh, selling the designs on Microstock websites like I've been doing for over 15 years now, you are welcome to download my free ebook where I give you great advice on how to use the colors, which colors uh, work best and which colors are allowed and not on Microstock uh, websites when you sell your designs illustrations or vector repeat patterns. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. And for now, grow, love and create. Bye!